this evening, let us explore the path of relief. This is Lama Jigme Gyatso of the Buddha Joy Meditation School. Welcome to Meditate Like a Jedi. This is the Lama you are looking for. This evening, we could chant and meditate and enjoy lesson or two, but first, if you love Star Wars and you wish to meditate as transformatively as Rey on Octo under the guidance of Luke Skywalker, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell. If at any point during this evening's live stream you have a question about Buddhist meditation or Buddhist philosophy or how to apply them to your life, do not be shy, do not be bashful, type your question in the chat window on the right hand side of the screen. Don't wait till the end of the live stream, strike while the iron is hot. Returning to our friend, the um, heart of tr the the heart of wisdom sutra, we read: No suffering, no source, no relief, no path. So, what is the path of relief? It is the eightfold path. Now, you might say, "But wait, wait, there is no here." What does that mean? It means that whatever path we notice as we breathe in. When we act, we lack, once we relax into our exhalation, that path could feel as non-graspable as a vast empty void, for nothing that we perceive cannot be released. So let us briefly explore the Eightfold Path. Wiser folks than I have divided it into three categories, view or contemplation, uh, compassionate action, or meditation as described by the seven enlightenment factors. So way back when, when I first began, um, the, my fundamentalist teachers assured me that the path of wisdom was difficult and complex and subtle and would take decades of fastidious study, but yet the Buddha taught that full enlightenment could be accomplished in as little as one week. So there's a disconnect. Folks, the uh, liberating view of reality that the Buddha taught was very, very simple. It was simply based on impermanence. It's not based on um, intellect or blind faith, but merely the yoga of relaxing into the exhalation. The uh, second... Uh, type of contemplation would be the liberating intention or, in other words, the right aspiration, wishing love. Compassion in action is simply putting that loving intention into action. With kind communication, kind commerce, and kind conduct. Meditation has three subsections. Um, the sixth fold of the Eightfold Path is right enthusiasm. If we are meditating in a way that it feels like drudgery, uh, then that's not liberation, that's servitude, that's slavery, that's bondage, and not in the fun and tingly way. So we have to practice a, a, a way that is blissful and f joyful. That's fun. If we don't know a way that to practice it's fun, then it's time to find a teacher to show us how. If our current teacher is a grim-faced geshe, if he or she has no idea how to have fun on the path, then find one who can. And if they say it takes decades of practice, that's malarkey. In fact, I'll go so far as to say this. If you practice with me tonight during this live stream, it could be pleasurable. You can feel greater peace and greater bliss tonight. The seventh fold of the Eightfold Path is mindfulness. No, my friends, mindfulness is not concentration. There are two paths, yang and yin. Yang tends to be rigid, fearful, controlling, elitist, competitive, and cruel. Its opposite is yin. The path of being flexible, loving, laid-back, egalitarian, cooperative, 
and kind. Think back to the moments in your life when you have been controlling and rigid. Were you peaceful? Were you happy? No, of course not. You were miserable, and you'd share that misery with others, didn't you? I know I did. Now think back to the moments in your life when you've been the most flexible, the most laid back. Yes, that's the path, isn't it? So we come now to meditation. And meditation is not, does not mean mind blanking. It simply means using the autonomic nervous system to our advantage. Every time we breathe in, the, sympath um, the sympathetic nervous system is wired to notice vulnerably, passively, viscerally, and randomly. And every time we exhale, the parasympathetic nervous system is wired for physical relaxation and mental release. The great irony is that the Buddha often talked about our experience either as a physical experience or as a mental experience. And both um, aspects are covered by the parasympathetic nervous system. A big thanks to the folks at Patreon who keep these live streams completely independent and ad-free. This brings us to the latest iteration of Buddha's Easy Tantra Meditation Guide, or Satana, if you're nasty. And yes, it is available for free download. Uh, just use one, the appropriate link in the description area below the video. Let us begin with our inner, prelim inner preliminary practices known in Tibet as Gondro. We can train our neural pathways responsible for empathy and enthusiasm, the uh, second and sixth folds of the Eightfold Path, by chanting the recitations of Bodhicitta and Refuge. May I Let's do this together. May I liberate all beings from the tyranny of hate and craving and clinging, by relying on the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. May I liberate all beings from the tyranny of hate and craving and clinging, by relying on the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. May I liberate all beings from the tyranny of hate and craving and clinging, by relying on the Buddha's example, instructions, and students. Consider, if you will, this piece of art, artwork depicting the Buddha. It could be described in Sanskrit as Buddha Shakyamuni, or in Tibetan as Shakya Thupa Sangye, or in English as the Enlightened Sage of the Shakya Clan. The iconography of this Yadam, or archetype of enlightenment, functions merely to organize four figures of speech necessary for deeply transformative contemplations. Let us begin by verbally contemplating wisdom's dance of impermanence and interdependence. Please chant with me. We're going to begin by contemplating the circumstantial. What could it look like? Oopsie, yes. What could it look like if all us was hoodie and impermanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into this form? And now the silent version during the in breath. We so we're going to play with a rhetorical question. During our in-breath, we're going to silently and mentally recite into form. And during the exhalation, we're going to silently and mentally recite how lots melting. Yes, we're using lots as a monosyllabic synonym for circumstances.
we switch gears from the circumstantial to the physical. What could it feel like if all forms was fully and permanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into this speech? We switch gears from the physical to the interpersonal. What could it sound like if all speech was fully and permanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into this mind? We switch gears from the interpersonal to the mental. What could it be like if all minds was fully and permanently melted into rainbow light that interdependently absorbed into a vast empty void? Good evening. Welcome to the live stream. When you have a question about the Buddha's med about Buddhist meditation or Buddhist philosophy or how to apply them, simply apply, uh, type your question in great detail in the chat window. Striking while the iron is hot. We come now to this evening's first of two sets of meditations. The first set is known as Awareness and Letting Go. It is also known by many names, including Dzogchen's Trekcho, or Slicing Through the Tyranny of uh, Hope and Fear. Now, Slicing Through the Tyranny of Hope and Fear does not mean we stop experiencing them. It means we stop being controlled by them. It means we give liberation to our choices and our utterances and our deeds. As we sharply inhale through the mechanism of our sympathetic nervous system, we are able to mindfully watch the play of mind as silently and mentally we recite, watch. During the leisurely inhalation through the mechanism of our parasympathetic nervous system, we're able to meditatively relax into mind's non-graspable nature. We do this as silently and mentally we recite relaxing. Now, here's a quick tip. During the inhalation, sit up nice and tall in a manner that would delight your grandma.
As we sit here, we can watch all sorts of things. Our mind can show us emotions, intentions, thoughts, memories, or imaginings. Our mind can show us sights, sounds, sensations, flavors, and scents, as well as the like, and the like. It might even show us an aversion to what we're doing right now. What do we do when that happens? We watch it as we breathe in and relax as we breathe out.
If you find value in this live stream, remember to give it a thumbs up. That really helps. We now we move on to our second of two meditations, the union of bliss and letting go, known by many names such as Dzogchen's Tigle. Where in the previous exercise, we were um, watching mind. In the second meditation, we're working with our form, our body. During each sharp inhalation, thanks to the mechanism of our sympathetic nervous system, we can mindfully, oopsie, we can mindfully feel the play of form as silently and mentally we recite feel. With each leisurely exhalation, through the mechanism of our parasympathetic nervous system, we could meditatively relax into form's non-graspable nature as silently and mentally we recite relaxing.
For our closing contemplation, we'll work with love and letting go, known also as Dzogchen's Tokal. With whom we invoke the example of the Muni wise one, Muni wise one. Maha greatly wise one, Muni ye of the Shaka, so how wishing enlightenment for all. Let's bring the four bases of mindfulness into the path of love. Now, the secret to transforming mere mantra recitation into mantra meditation is twofold. During our inhalation, we silently and mentally recite a loving intention. During our exhalation, as we chant this 12-syllable mantra, we physically relax as best we can. Now, this loving intention can seem rather cryptic, so we flesh it out with a bit of chanting beforehand. May all minds of all beings now be as peaceful and wise as our Buddha's mind. Symbolized by a one-syllable mantra known as a Sitikle or Bhisha mantra. Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesawa Muni Muni Ma Muni Yesawa Muni Muni Maha Muni Yesawa Muni Muni Maha Muni Yesawa Muni Muni Ma 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 Muni Yesawa O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha Muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. We shift gears now and bring the experience of the interpersonal into the path of love. May all relationships of all beings will be as joyful and loving as all Buddha's communications and by lies by this twelve-syllable mantra. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa. O muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso wa muni muni ma muni yeso ha. 
Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Let us bring the physical into the path of love. So what's fun to do is sometimes form a gentle fist around your left thumb and then form your right hand around your left and hold on front of your diaphragm. May all bodies of all beings now enjoy the beautiful, healthy, picked and Buddhist art. Of the blissful body of a yidam of law and archetype of enlightenment. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Let us bring the circumstantial into the path of love as we, during our final contemplation. May all circumstances of all beings now be as safe and fortunate as a Buddha's paradise, pure land of vati of law. Boon is a monosyllabic synonym for good fortune. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. Muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu wa muni muni ma muni yesu ha. 
Muni muni ma muni yesowa 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 If you feel that I have earned it, type something in the chat window, give this live stream a thumbs up, and share it on social media. In approximately 11 hours, I would very much like to return to lead tomorrow's early morning meditation. Until then, may you and yours be happy and healthy. And if you are as geeky as me, this is the way.